Warning. This video contains strong snippets and graphic imagery of straight lines and associated phenomena. If you are in any way offended by or sensitive to linearity, lines, rocks, dirt, long distances, or angular changes of direction, please take this opportunity as an opportunity to exit the video, like and subscribe Google Maps. Okay, less cuteness, more astuteness. Let's make some... <laughs> Let's make some shrewd observations together. Hello. This video will cover long straight lines like this. It's chapter 8 in this series, which is part of this ongoing series. If you are watching one of my videos for the first time, and this is your first one, uh, this ongoing project is called The Tooling of Earth. So first up, in the long straight lines genre, we have this old classic in Mauritania. whole bunch of these guys, long ridges or channels or ditches or mounds. It looks like a, some kind of groove. So whatever that is, it may even be a pipe, uh, any number of things, and a whole bunch of questions uh, surrounding that, such as, is this area, this lower altitude area, did this erode before or after this linear feature was there? That's a key consideration uh, or an important question. This guy, a perfect straight line across, and again, many of these. And in this video, we will only cover the images and uh, later we will cover these areas in Google Earth. Although this one I'm gonna skip in Google Earth just because we covered it already in a previous video. China, we have these long linear ridges with some parallel components. And then, yeah, some of them are pretty long. If I remember correctly, about 25 miles, I measured one of them. And uh, there's many of these actually in the area. I found a whole bunch of them. Uh, a couple of key points on this. Number one, it may be some kind of modern industrial work with, and this is like a uh, spoil bank on the side of it. So like a land dredge kicking up material on the side or an earth mover or of some kind. Another consideration, we have these um, ridges seeming to uh, link up with a mine. Uh, I don't have an image of right now of that, but some of these seem to uh, lead to a mining area. But I would say the occurrence of these is much more extensive than that, um, that mining operation I'll be showing you in Google Earth. And then also we have these lines like uh, sculpting, it looks like uh, the, I don't know, rocky outcrops or whatever. We see f uh, faint paths around some of these places, so I'll show you that stuff. So this may be some type of terraforming maneuver from an as yet unacknowledged major overhaul of Earth's surface. Russia, we have this guy, a long, fairly linear scar or gouge or ditch or uh, ravine or whatever it is and it's not perfectly linear and it should be compared to other stuff in the area it looks slightly discontinuous i would say uh, this one may turn out to be natural but i thought it was a good example to include uh, just because it's one of those that uh, could be either and it's worth uh, giving this a closer look in google earth so we will check this one out some lines presented may contain trace amounts of curvature, but within a range which is generally regarded as safe for human consumptions. In Mali, we have these long lines and many of these as well, uh, just a whole bunch of them, uh, long straight lines. These ones actually extend over a hundred miles, so uh, some of them at least. I think this one, yeah, it does extend over 100 miles. And of course, we have to compare it to this stuff like this and this, which is looking more natural. And this, of course, and this. Um, and maybe like a sweep of some kind here. Maybe not. Uh, tough to say. Um, this certainly similar, but uh, a more natural looking path. And it's kind of just cropped or uh, you can't really see what else is out of frame. But... Um, 
it basically just continues along a more or less straight trajectory. It's fairly clean trajectory. And I would say the, the clean regularity of it, as I'll show you in Google Earth, is kind of a uh, giveaway or a... Um, it informs our classification of this phenomenon, whatever it is. So it's looking fairly clean and regular in some places. So it may be some type of tool path or tooling maneuver or terraforming maneuver with some kind of high tech. So let's keep that in mind. Many animals were harmed in the making of this video. Fuck them. In Alaska, we have multiple very long straight lines. And here's an example right here. Here's another one here and another one here. And I showed you this in a previous video and they occur quite a bit. There are very many of these and I've seen them in Russia as well. Uh, I've seen them in other places, uh, South Africa or Southern Africa, uh, probably multiple countries there. I've seen similar stuff like this. So obviously we should consider if it's pipelines or power lines or any number of industrial long distance operations or even just like mining or like surface mining or anything like that. That should all be considered. Um, my gut instinct says these are part of the weirdness going on with the terraforming project. And uh, we will take another quick look here in Google Earth in a subsequent video. In Bolivia, we have long thin lines. You see this one. This is in a, a lake, I think. And we will check this one out. Many long lines, which I am supposing or hypothesizing are not uh, drainage and they're not for navigation either. And they're not for erosion, I think, like erosion control. I think they're more likely part of the uh, strange patternation um, protocol or these uh, very awkward, goofy generation of straight lines, uh, all kinds of weird features on the Earth's surface. So, Brazil, we have, this is a, uh, a more subtle one, but if you look closely, I'll zoom in for you, you can see this guy may even be a foot trail or some type of uh, tractor just driving in a straight line or something, just the track. Uh, but you do see a straight path here, fairly straight, and it is there. Um, I, I wanted to include this one because I just wanted to illustrate that some of this stuff is pretty subtle and it's not, it doesn't jump right out at you. So uh, oftentimes you'll have to look very closely at a landscape to pick up on this stuff. But if you do, oftentimes you will see it. So we will mosey over there and check this place out. California. This is a long straight line, uh, somewhat near the east side of California, like towards the Nevada border or Arizona border. And it's a 20 mile, give or take, very long straight linear feature. And it's pretty much dead straight, which to, in my opinion, indicates some kind of artificiality rather than naturalness, just because it's it really appears to be perfectly dead straight. And here's a close up of a snippet of it. Here you see it looking fairly clean there, like you see that. So some kind of potentially artificial ridge or artificially manipulated material along a very straight path. And I should mention here that it may be part of the Walker Lane Fault, which I just learned about recently. So on the other side of the mountains, we have the San Andreas Fault and then um, running up uh, more towards the west side of California. And then in this general area of California, we have what's called the Walker Lane Fault or Fault System. And this may be one of the uh, fault lines. So this may actually be a seismic feature or tectonic feature. And I haven't found any info on it. So, that, I mean, even if this is conventional, uh, or just tectonic activity. I don't know if it's known about. I wouldn't particularly care, but uh, 
I'd be more excited, you know, if it turns out to be part of this artificial weirdness, but it may be part of a fault line. It's just the perfect straightness of it is questionable to me. Next up, Russia. We have in the river systems and the landscape in general, we often have long straight channels, which may or may not be for navigation and or drainage or any number of purposes. And then we have straight lines like this, potentially, like you see that there, if you're in full screen right now, even this right here, this trajectory seems a little oddly straight and all kinds of uh, other little accompanying features which uh, may or may not be associated with road building and such. Uh, this may be just a modern canal or it may not and I'm considering that it may be part of a strange project. I'm feeling tangy. Let's dance the erotics. Great. All right. Um, next up we have this guy in Mongolia, a long, oddly straight and abrupt transition between rock. And this one strikes me as a high, high likelihood of being natural. So this, I mean, we've seen so much weirdness that I don't know if anything's natural, but uh, to the degree that things are natural or at least just emergent through uh, weathering and geological processes as we traditionally know them, uh, there's a good chance that this is just some kind of dike or some kind of uh, like volcanic ribbon or geological um, fissure or some kind of uh, well understood phenomenon. So this may not be artificial, especially since it's, it kind of meanders. Not, not that the artificial stuff necessarily has to be perfectly straight, but like I would say from from here, like here to here, it's looking kind of almost mechanically precise, I might say. And then it goes on to continue and you see it continuing there, looking pretty fine and well-defined as we'll see. And it should be compared to other similar features in the area, which we will check out in Google Earth in a later video because those areas or those features resemble this but also look even more natural than this one so there's a good chance that this is natural and I said that already so let's move on go whoa just do it Blah. in Brazil we have these grooves um, apparently along some more or less linear trajectory here and they do uh, kind of branch off and overlap and uh, meander and curve and stuff. Uh, I just consider that it's something from above touching down and making edits to the surface, uh, whether intentional or not, um, by just uh, getting too close to the surface or uh, by dipping down into the surface as it does like an aerial pass or even like from below or something, uh, any number of possibilities. I was also considering that this might be a fault line um, or something similar, but we'll take a look. I would just say from like, and if you look at one of these closely, it just looks a little bit too clean uh, for it to be a natural feature in my opinion, but uh, we will check that one out. Iraq. We've seen this one a couple times. I took you on a tour of this area. These channels or long ditches um, that just kind of fade in and fade out. They don't appear to carry water or have been used to carry water. Uh, they just, they're just kind of there and they don't look like they're there for transportation, although I could be wrong, but I mean, you see plenty of roads in the area like this and that's quite a different look to this beast uh, here. This may even be mining of some kind, like diamonds or whatever they have in the desert here. So we will consider these guys once more in the context of long straight lines. 
and we have some interesting shapes to the trajectory. This one kind of doing a U shape here and we'll give that area another quick look. So what does all this mean? Bitch, it means, I don't know. Hopefully you are now left with a strong sense of satisfaction. Later.